You guys would tell me if I have an issue, right? Hi, I'm Yan. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If the lighting is weird, I'm sorry. There's a horrible storm going on and I have only one lamp. I also am slightly delirious with fever because I woke up this morning and yes, I had a fever. So I am in my bathrobe, just casual, and I am drinking orange cream soda, which is surprisingly good. Did not think I would like it so much. So today, I'm tackling my big physical TBR. And I'm going to show you all the books I have on my physical TBR. It's just absolutely ridiculous how many books I have. I have over a hundred books sitting here on my TBR. So we're just gonna, you know, get into it without me worrying about like presenting any details about plot because most of these, I don't know the plot. I will mention like why I decided to buy them, which were usually for bad reasons, which is one of the reasons I'm having a no book buying year this year because Anne has issues. First big one is War in Korea and the Complete History of World War II. It's Armed Services Memorial Edition. I got this for like $2 at the Goodwill, so. Next one is another uh, Asian one and that is Inside Asia by John Gunther. Again, History of World War II. Wookie Collins, The Moonstone. I own this in two volumes. This is volume one. Have no idea where the other volume is. It is somewhere in this pile. Moving on. Ooh, Great Sea Stories. This is a collection of short stories that are classic and focus on the sea. Ah, this is my co complete collection of Shakespeare's plays. I've read about half of Shakespeare's plays, but I still have half to read. Next one is The Student's History of English Literature by W.E. Simmons. Uh, official a guidebook and map to Colonial Williamsburg. This was written in the 1960s and I went to Colonial Williamsburg, so I thought that would be cool to have to compare the differences. Uh, Overcoming Life by D.L. Moody. This is a Christian minister's. I went through a phase where I was just buying old books, anything that I saw at the Goodwill without actually saying, do you think they are any good? So I did stop that. <clears throat> Next one is A Man Named John, The Life of Pope John the Thirteenth. He was a Catholic Pope. This is his biography. Uh, this one is Heidi's Children by Charles, Tr Charles Trenton. I believe this is the sequel to Heidi. Next one is a collection of Plato, Epic. Titus, uh, Mark and Marcus Aurelius, great philosophers. I've read Plato. I have not read much of the other two. Mm. This one is the Oxford Book of English Detective Stories. This one is Norton Anthology of English Literature. Again, I read excerpts of this in college, but I haven't read it all the way through. This is the complete Fairy Tales of the Brothers Grimm. I love this copy and I got this for like $2 at the Goodwill and I am about that much through. Um, so like I used to go and just read like one or two of their stories and I've fallen out of that. I need to get back to that. <clears throat> Next one is Moby Dick by Herman Melville. This is a beautiful copy I found that is very old and pretty and I haven't read this yet. Next one is Victorian Poets. This one talks about Victorian poets and their lives. Wild Swans by Zhang Cheng. This follows three women through different generations in China. The Church Search for Modern China by Jonathan D. Spence. This is a Chinese history book that mostly documents the Qing Dynasty up through the modern era. John Adams by David McCullough. This was made into a mini series that my mom really likes and I enjoy learning about John Adams. So Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, and I won't read the Spanish name, by Vicente Blasco Ibanez. This one I believe is set around World War I. Classical Myths, I've talked about this a little bit on my channel before at least once, and I still haven't read it. I've read about like half of it or like a fourth of it. The Republic of Plato. Lost Science by Kitty Ferguson. This talks about like lost science that has been important to scientific discoveries, but you don't really hear talked about that much. Take Burn and Destroy by S. Thomas Russell. It's a high seas adventure. I have no idea what it's about. Shanghai Grand by Taras Gresco. An introduction to philosophy through literature. I love philosophy in literature. This one is Dwight L. Moody, The Man and His uh, Passion or Mission? The Man and His Mission, I think it's called. Yes. I only got this purely because it was published in 1900 and it follows this preacher, this Christian preacher, and his ideas. This is Christian Cosmopolitan, as in the magazine, and it's a book 
written um, talking about sex and waiting for sex until marriage and this is not as fitting because now that I'm married, um, but I will read it eventually. Ah, Beyond Order by Jordan B. Peterson. This is the sequel to 12 Rules for Life. I read the first book. I love the first book. It's somewhere on my bookshelf. I don't know, but uh, this one's the sequel and I have not read it yet. Uh, Life is Worth Living by Fulton J. Sheen. I believe this is a collection of his speeches um, and his writings. He was a big TV personality in the 60s. The Rising Sun, The Decline and Fall of the Japanese Empire, 1936 to 1945 by John Tolland. All right, Crusade in Europe by Dwight D. Eisenhower, World War II, obvious. Uh, the Complete Collection of the Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. This has the first, I think, five books, and then, well, there were only five books, and then, yeah, it doesn't have, obviously, any of the uh, radio programs. So we got From Genesis to Revelation uh, by Mildred Berry, Ronald Christian, uh, John Adams and the American Revolution by Catherine Drinker Bowen, The Moral Law by H.J. Uh, Patton, Canterbury Tales by Chaucer. I will read this someday. I've read like the third of it or whatever. This is a collection of quotations by Mao Zedong, Man from the Moon by Gordon R. Dickinson. Sci-fi. Space Paw by Gordon R. Dickinson. The original Fanny Farmer 1896 cookbook. Very cool. Um, Lives of the Caesars. The Beloved by Alessandro Menzoni. Melissa by Taylor Caldwell. Know nothing about this one. The History of Russia by George Vernadsky. Omnibus of Crime, edited by Dorothy L. Sayers. The Pickwick Papers by Charles Dickens. Of Human Bondage by W. Somerset Mawoma Maha. Sound of the Fury by William Faulkner. Yankee from Olympus, Oliver Wendell Holmes by Catherine Drinker Bowen. He was a big judge. And One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich by Alexander Solzhenitsyn, who wrote The Gulag Archipelago. Souls of China, The Return of Religion After Mao by Ian Johnson. Archangel by Margaret Fortune. I got this. I didn't realize that that was the second book of the series. So. Nicholas and Alexandra by Robert K. Massey. Ripper by Stephen Petrusha. Thus spoke Zarathustra uh, by Frederick Nietzsche. The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco. Tibetan Book of the Dead. David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. The Fairy Queen by Edmund Spencer. This is a really cool copy. I was so glad to find this for a dollar. Um, the Miser and Other Plays by Moulier. I've never heard of him, but it looked cool. And it was a Penguin classic for a dollar. Cicero, Selected Works. I've read a couple of these, but not all of them. The Da Vinci Hoax, Exposing the Eras in the Da Vinci Code. The Da Vinci Code is... The Da Vinci Code is somewhere over there in that pile. We're not going to worry about it right now. Introduction to the Devout Life by St. Francis de Lascelles. De Lascelles? Um, G.K. Shuster had collected words. These, this is just a collection of his essays. Dorothy L. Sayers, Lord Peter. These are a set of short stories that she wrote about him. Going to the Sources, uh, A Guide to Historical Research and Writing. Deerslayer by James Fenmore Cooper. China and Me by Emily Hahn. Murder with Peacocks by Donna Andrews. Cozy mystery series, haven't read it yet. The Peloponnesian War by Thucydides. I did start reading this last semester, but I could never finish it. Agatha Christie, The Hollow. I may have read this, but it's been so many years, I'm gonna take it as if I didn't read it because I don't remember anything about it. Uh, the Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle. Thrones and Dominions by Dorothy L. Sayers and Jill Patton Walsh. This was an unfinished book by Dorothy L. Sayers. And of course, The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. The new classic Chinese cookbook by Mao Liang. Chinese Civilization, a source book. This one is Chances of Death and Other Studies of Evolution by Carl Pearson. The Habsburg of Vienna. Very old, old book. <laughs> Pavilion of Women by Pearl S. Buck. I'm currently actually reading another book by Pearl S. Buck, which is Imperial Woman, about Cixi, uh, the last empress of China. 
interesting. So Judge D at Work. These are short uh, mystery stories by Robert Van Gulick. Agatha Christie Sleeping Murder. I know I have not read this. But it's Miss Marple, and I didn't read a whole lot of Miss Marple. Love and the Turning Year, 100 More Poems from the Chinese by Kenneth Rexroth. Style and the Man by Alan Flusser. And the only Tom Clancy book I had, my mother-in-law bought two copies, and so she gave me one, um, Into the Fire. I have not read a Tom Clancy book ever. My dad was a huge fan. The Scholar and the Serving Maid by Feng Ai. Tang Dynasty Stories. Tales of Greek Heroes by Roger Langson Green. Lonesome Dove, which is a very big book, it's over a thousand pages, by Larry McMurtry. Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. The Golden Treasury of Best Songs and Lyrical Poems by Oscar Williams. Save the Date by Morgan Matson. The Afternoon Tea Book by Michael Smith. Badolin Lino by Umberto Eco, the author of The Name of the Rose. And The Clan of the Cave Bear by Jean M. Al Nemesis by Eric Albach. Re the Representation of Reality in Western Literature. Imitation of Christ by Thomas A. Kempis. Uh, Dennis Prager, Think a Second Time. Uh, Utopia by Sir Thomas More. Uh, the Complete Essays of Francis Bacon. Murder Must Advertise by Dorothy L. Sayers. The Bhagavad Gita, as it is. The Unpleasantness at Bologna Club by Dorothy L. Sayers. Men of Iron by Howard Pyle. Autobiography of a Yogi. Lost by Gregory Maguire. The Book of Modern Short Stories. The Pride of Palamora by Peter S. King. Tutankhamen. The Untold Story by Thomas Hobie. Oh, and of course the other part of the Moonstone. I'll need to find that to match it with its hair somewhere. An Outline of Russian Literature. Can't see. Common Sense Writes in the End and Essential Writings of Thomas Paine. Great Short Works by Fedor Dostoevsky. The Origins of Oriental Civilization. Tales from the Shaolin Monastery. Kidnapped by Robert Louis Stevenson. The complete, the complete plays of Sophocles, The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood, The Doors of Perception and Heaven and Hell by Aldous Huxley. This is like short stories by him. Jonathan Page and Jonathan Strange and Mr. Null by Susanna Clark. What what a big boy. The Life of Thomas More by Peter Ackroyd biography. The Seahawk by Raphael Sabatini. Sense of Sensibilities and Sea Monsters by Ben W. Winters. This is similar to Pride, Precious, and Zombies, which I love that book, but I haven't read this one yet. And then I have the first book of J. Dragon Mountain by Elsa Hart I have read, but I have the second two, um, The White Mirror and The City of Ink, Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. The Mask of Apollo by Mary Renault. And The Haunted Hotel by Wood T. Collins. Youngin by Herbert Best. No idea what it's about. Chinese Myths and Tales. I mean, isn't that pretty probably? Beyond Good and Evil by Frederick Nietzsche. The Brothers Karamazov by Fedor Dostoevsky. Uh, another copy of Utopia by Sir Thomas More. So, got two copies of that. The other, Wes Moore, uh, One Name, Two Fates by Wes Moore. Ritual, the Rituals of Dinner, The Origins, Evolution, Eccentricities, and Meaning of Table Manners by Margaret Visser. My Grandfather's Son by Clarence Thomas, he is a Supreme Court judge. Nanjing Requiem by Hajin. American Gothic Short Stories. The Complete Sherlock Holmes. I've read quite a few of these, just not all of them. 
and the complete collection of H.P. Lovecraft. I, again, have read some, but not all. And then the two current ones I'm currently reading are The History of Religions in Korea by Duk Wong Kim. It would be Kim Duk Wong in Korean. And then Jingle by Terry Pratchett. So uh, those I need to finish by the end of the month. So I'm curious. I'm going to actually go through and just count all the books, see how many I have. So I have currently 160 books on my TBR, unless I counted Gron, which is probably accurate. I guess this is a part of my series of books that I own tour, just a tour of my bookshelves, but I did want to look through all the books in my TBR because it really gives perspective to just how many books I own. So have you read any of these books? Do any of them look interesting? Do you think I have a problem? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe. I post every Saturday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time and I see you all. Da, 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 da. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>